All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, on the International Day of Clean Air, Blue Skies is observed annually on 7th September to raise awareness of the importance of clean air and the need to take action to reduce air pollution. The day was des designated by the United Nations General Assembly in 2019, and the theme for the 2023 International Day of Blue Air for, I mean, in the International Day for Clean Air for Blue Skies is Together for Clean Air. This theme highlights the urgent need for stronger partnerships, increased investment, and shared responsibility to overcome air pollution. Hey, nice day. So, true story. You see, this is my friend that I have. Um, we've been like accountability partners and all of that. You know, when I opened my office space, I told her, I said, Auntie, you have to move from this space. Next day, she got a big space, very massive space. Yeah. She's been doing all of so, so I've not I've not gone to see her in a while. So today I went to the office. Me that was telling this auntie that I'm still trying to gather my money for solar. Oh wow, I saw that she had fully powered the entire building. I mean literally, right? Um, if we're talking about clean air, one of the biggest sources of pollution, especially here in Nigeria. Cars, generators. Yeah. Um, so as much as we can, if we are able to promote clean energy, you know, not just even for the serenity. Like when we went into the office today, everyone was just quiet. You know, the serenity of the place, everything. I've used solars in my houses for for years. So really, literally, anytime I hear a generator noise, it gives me a headache because I'm not used to generator at all. Right. So when I saw it today, I was so excited. She said, ah, you know, you're the one I say, uh, that's how you now you did, you now did uh, this bomb, but don't worry, I'm coming to meet you. But for as much as we can, if, mm -hmm. um, and there are different, there are different companies now that are doing payment plans and all of those things. Let's, let's try to move away from, you know, those kind of toxic, um, what's it called, emissions that come out from those things. Then even for cars, I know at some point the government had banned certain kind of cars. I think when the cars are 10 years and above or something like that, but you still see a lot of pollution that happens, you know. So as much as we can, you know, it's, it's important that we pay attention to these things because truly, um, you don't know how much it has a toll on you. Yeah. It is, you know, sometimes when I leave Nigeria and I'm out of the country for like three weeks and I come yeah. back, or more, you can tell. I come down with a lot of things yeah. because you just start to, you know. The air is just different. It's just different. You breathe. The, it's cleaner. You can. Yeah, it's different. You can, it's it's different. different. It's a town hall. Mm. Different. <laughs> From Bali. <laughs> I'm telling you, so blue skies, blue, blue. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so as much as we can, if we if we want to promote clean air, yeah. let's start to look in the direction of and thank God, see, with all this uh, increment of fuel and all of that, yeah. really, in the end, solar is way cheaper for um, any business. Initial yeah. cost, very yeah. yes, that's it is the initial sunk cost, yeah. and that's why I said some companies are doing payment plan. Yeah. It's better you just close your eyes and do it once and for all, you know, and take yourself off that headache of, you know, True, generators still come and, right yeah. Yeah. and affect you, your Absolutely. health and everything. Everything, everything. Yeah. yeah. All right, so who are we starting with? NJ. NJ, I <laughs> So, uh, my what's the news? I have a video. I don't know if, um, if, Where we, can, Where is the video? if we can show that video. So, it's, uh, for, <laughs> for me, not a lot happening in the news this week and lately because of this whole tribunal thing. So I went to visit a few of our friends in another country. And you know, there was a, I don't know if that video can There's be no put video, up. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so I wish you could see the video mm -hmm. and I wish you can put up the video. So the idea is, um, it's a story of a gang. They went to a house and they wanted to, they started shooting at the house, mm -hmm. yeah? And the idea, I don't know what the story, the background story is, but the video starts up with, they just um, you know, drive up in front of this uh, house and they start shooting right into the house. And then they opened, uh, they had bombs with them. So they, wanted, they took out one and they were about to throw it. But then shots started coming from the, uh, from the house mm -hmm. itself. So they started retaliating and shooting back. I think in the confusion, they all ran into the car and sped off. With and the bomb. car exploded. <laughs> And then you can see the video because the video is from like a street camera. Mm -hmm. And then you can see the video and then they drive all the way up the street. Oof. And then you just see the car just go up, boom, 
and just explodes oh, wow. and it's crazy and i'm like wow this is true karma so for me in this <laughs> is how i deal with judgment from you know the tribunal yesterday <laughs> watching videos like this because something like that is like karma and i wish what i'm trying to say is that i wish karma could actually be something of a nowadays kind of world so you see yeah it's good we're talking managing expectation <laughs> don't wish nothing because it <laughs> we come back to your story where we are <laughs> well, so my story is just um something to look forward to um this lady this um amusan lady who mm -hmm. won the world record 100 meters the buttons, yeah. yeah so we should expect to see her for olympics 2024 oh, that's i'm excited great. about that i mean i i followed her competition very keenly yeah. and i liked the fact that she's new on the scene and i mean it's like it's her time now yeah. so i know that yeah. a few months ago they tried to take her down yeah yeah some oh, well some there were issues around doping that. allegations yeah. for toby mm -hmm. interestingly i met her at the lounge when i was coming back from the u.s very mm -hmm. very pleasant lady so mm -hmm. when i went i walked up to her i said normally i don't do that mm -hmm. But I walked up to her and said, hi. She said, oh, you know me? I said, of course. Yeah, you are <laughs> I said, you are, you are a pride for Nigeria. I mean, we got talking and everything. Yeah. So when the doping thing happened, of course, I sent her love messages. But um, I, I think it, it kind of like affected her because her last outing at the, which one was it that just happened now? She didn't, um, she didn't, she didn't make the cut. So I'm oh, hoping that, yeah. you know, her she head is clear herself. enough now yeah, for this. And I'm this. really, really rooting for yeah. her. Yeah. You know, so my story is actually linked to what we're talking about. Daily Momodu's tweet. <laughs> yeah, he said that, and I'll read it. He said, I watched in utter amazement and wonderment how our constitution was brazenly and deliberately turned upside down by those who lack a sense of history and care less about the victory or the verdict of, of history. What all men and women of good conscience should have for them is pity and not anger. Nigeria shall be free. This was from Daily Momodu. He tweeted this today. At, I'm, I'm making RDG. <laughs> and it has over 666,000 views. Yeah. So I'm going to come back to what he said when we have our conversation because therein inside of the whatever he's also trying to see how people you know he says what all men and women of good conscience right should have for them is pity and not anger pity for who exactly uh -huh. so i'll come back to that but let's take a break i want to discuss the expectations managing the expectations managing our expectations as nigerians um, post tribunal judgment stay with us we'll be right back 